My practice is very mixed. As an artist, I like to work in a variety of mediums and don't have a single specific medium. Um, that's because I have a, a, a storytelling practice. So it depends which medium, be that film or sculpture or drawing, suits the story best that I'm trying to communicate. I see clay as a collaborative material and a collaborative being itself within my practice. I view clay as the medium that forms the earth itself rather than just a material to be appropriated as a sculptural medium. Clay to me represents one portion of how the earth and the earth systems display their being that affects our social world as humans and how we construct our worlds on this planet. The idea of the institution is the focus of the show because institutions within our human society at this point in time represent a certain form of structure and hierarchy that we as human beings are used to understanding that's what an institution represents. This institution offers the opportunity to show that the structure and hierarchy of an institution can be altered and it, it, it can differ based upon who is designing that institution. And the fact of the matter is that anybody can design an institution. It's not just for governments to design institutions. And we need to recognise that we all have the ability to make individual choices for ourselves. When I first met Emily, I invited her to come and work with me with the idea, the historic idea of the witch. Um, but to bring to that a focus that has been long running throughout my research, which is first looking at forms of what I call communal architecture, so architecture that's built in the UK, for instance, by the state, and looking at, for instance, Aboriginal cultures of community buildings. And I've also written and thought a lot and, and, and spoken a lot in public about the problems with cultural institutions. So when we came together, I, my, my provocation, if you will, to Emily was to say, OK, you're interested in witches, you have this deep knowledge of the North Yorkshire landscape and the way that witches inhabited it. I'm interested in institutions. What would it mean, and this was a genuine question, to uh, develop the idea of an institution built with witches, by witches, and through their powers? What would that mean? And so at once our idea of the institution is quite pragmatic, which is, well, for instance, here we are in the Tetley, um, this is um, you know, a, a funded, publicly funded art gallery. It produces lots of work with the community as well as commissioning new and existing works by artists. What would it mean to turn it into something that kind of opened it out to different forms of organisation, to different forms of collaboration? And how would a witch organise an institution? How can we use thoughts that we've got from witchcraft to rethink the infrastructure of the institutions of politics that, that are operating on us and through us today? Particularly, because it's my experience, from a Western perspective. The term witch has obviously become um, associated with a very maligned and rather cartoonish character um, in popular culture, in historical films, and also in narratives about the, the, a particular figure who is usually, but not always, female. Um, for me, a witch is not that. A witch is somebody who has a practice, a practice that is based in processes of bringing natural and scientific knowledge together at any particular time to produce forms of healing and forms of gathering and collectivizing that are normally um, opposed to the regimes of power that they work underneath. Probably the largest work in the show is Clag, which is the clayscape that fills the atrium, which we are able to interact with. This work is specifically uh, important to me because this is the clay, part of the clay that forms that work is a clay that I've worked with for the past 12 years and a clay that I have come to know as a collaborator. 
not just as an object to be taken and used by myself as an artist. So it means quite a lot to me that we're able to, I'm able to share that work with you and that you're also able to experience what it's like to interact with clay medium in that way. Another work which would be specifically important to me in this show is probably this visioning ball that I'm sat next to. It's made of unfired clay and the marks on the visioning ball represent the alternative cosmologies which, which is believed they could create by almost marking the future in a way or how they would like to envisage the future or create it.